Hello everyone. How are you? I am I am getting a lot of complaints that my video is too much longer and talk and I do talk a lot. So maybe you don't want to hear my hear me talking, you just want to see some works. But when I am trying to teach you, I must say something that is necessary. Otherwise I don't do talk unnecessary things anyway this one is also going to be a very long video and the reason is today i am going to share with you guys a tips of how to make designs for halloween like you may already know that halloween is on october so this is the best time for start designing for halloween because these are the times this t-shirt sell the most like you will get if you get 10 sales in the whole year you will may get some kind of 50 60 to sell in this kind of halloween christmas this kind of occasions these are the selling occasions so you must be prepared for that so i am going to show you how to make designs for halloween but for that here i need to share some tips with you and that is you need to understand kind of things that you will need to make designs for Halloween like you will need some elements like this and not that everyone can create them or they are not very easy to create so I am going to give you guys this resource here these are all premium vectors I have premium free pick account so I am going to give you all this from my that account these are like almost eight to nine items i downloaded for you and i will give you this whole lot of batch here and there is a lot of design details and i will i am planning to make a series on halloween so i will use them all of them from here so i will give you this one and i need you to know something about halloweens and that is something kind of halloween fonts what is the halloween fonts if you just come to the, the font.com you will get a option here in holiday like this is star halloween christmas so every holiday has its own theme own kind of font theme so you need to use this if you are making a halloween design you must use a halloween font you can use it any other font but this looks the best when you are making a halloween design so if you just come to dafont.com search here in this halloween you will get a lot of halloween fonts you can just download them free and you can use them in your designs so this is one thing the font and the other thing is color you can search google like this halloween color palette you will get some images like this so that you can take the colors from here or you can see this is the main website of halloween color fonts let's you can just come here and then pick any color you like any color theme you like and then make design according to this color this website is called sim colors so that is that means you can find almost any color plate here on any design topic you you want to work on so just make a search here like maybe better than if i just okay here I, we got one search result for this better than day greeting color you can use this in your better than designs like this you can search anything here you will get that color so i am not going to make this too long so i am just going to start my design process so for designing here you need to understand one thing that if you like if you love someone so and you are planning to give someone give that person the gift so will you give him or her something like written i love you maybe not you will want to customize that design or maybe want to add the add his or her name and in that design like you want to gift a mark, mark then you must you will want to put your lover's name on that mark so that is the kind of trick for selling like no one will wear a id or a t-shirt on the day of it but you have to make this really related to their real life so i am going to 
give you an example with nars t-shirt today i will make a series here like how to convert designs halloween designs in different niches like you will not just make a halloween design and someone will buy that you must combine a niche with your design then you can target them like nurses who love to wear something on halloween day so that will be our process of design so here i take a picture from google you can see my broom broke so now i am now i am a nurse this is the easiest and the most common style of targeting halloween like you can see my broom broke so now i am now i am a nurse that means you must know some kind of details about this like this is, is a flying witch and he is flying on it his on her broom so this is kind of the halloween theme so here they are targeting like my broom broke so that means if my broom wasn't bro wasn't broke then i was flying with that but now it's broken so now i am nurse so this is the kind of message here that my broom broke so i am a nurse you can just make a thousand kind of designs like this like my broom broke so now i am a teacher my broom broke so now i am weightlifting anything just use this word my broom broke so now i am nurse carpenter painter teacher whatever you want and i will make a series about this not only this one in different designs but i am starting with this one the easiest one here my broom broke so now i am a nurse so this is i am going to make as i don't like this design so i am going to make something unique from this idea and for that one i am going to use some vectors here this one i showed you in my this bundle here you will find that here and then here i am using some nurse element and here is the fonts i collected from the font.com all of them are free these are the color palette of my halloween theme i am going to use them so for this one here first of all i need to make a concept like you need to have the design inside your head before starting and that's how you will finish making a final design you don't just start with making a design and then you will go wherever it takes you no that is not the style you must have a design inside your head then you start with that one so this is my broom broke here like the witch on which is flying on broom so i am going to take this one here as my broom broke so now i could have used just a picture of a broom here just this broom here and then use something like them but i am not going to do that as this is the common style i am going to keep this witch as it is but i will make her look like she is a nurse and that is how nurses will nurses can relate to their profession with this image so for that one here i am planning to make a design and that will become kind of the nurse text will be here something like this area and this which will be flying or overlapping the, that nurse text and the other rest will be on this upper area so i am just going to use my this kind of fonts here like midnight minutes this one is looking kind of scary that is because it, it is a scary theme you must use something similar font okay here you can see this is my nurse text here so this is will this will be kind of my broom broke so now i am a nurse but this nurse will be like something like this area here i want them to be center position but not like this okay maybe something kind of this now for this one here i have to understand one thing that whatever i am making i need to make it like in a rectangle area because the printing area of a t-shirt is rect will be rectangle so if i just keep keep something like this all my designs will be inside this area and this area will be outside of my design then when i i will put this design on a t-shirt this area will cause the main design on the sideways in the sideways position so, so that will look bad for me so i am not going to do that i am just going to use these stars here just making them a group and cut 
sorry for that i'm going to paste it here as you can see this will be my the, the stars will be something like here that she, this, these were to represent that she is moving like the speed the motion that's what it was representing and the back of this broom but i want to keep this something like here so that my design all stays in a area that it will look kind of middle positions so now this is my text here now i want to add something like that my broom broke so maybe i can just use a rounded rectangle here maybe something like this this is this will be my text area so i am going to use something like this font i downloaded because i loved this one that they make the o with this pumpkin here so i am going to take this font here cut that as i am using a text of broom and broke there is o in the text so that will look great because the text this o will be replaced with this pumpkin so you can see this is the reason i chose this font because this is looking good because of that pumpkin now pumpkin is the part of this hello this halloween design we will do a lot of designs on this niche so you will get better ideas so now this is maybe my texture my broom broke maybe i can just make it a bit bigger in size okay maybe not that area something like this because i want to keep my design inside this ruler so that everything stays in a proportion so i'm going to keep it something like this so this is now my text here and i am going to use another text so now i am a nurse as this nurse is here i need the text now i am maybe this one i will use by broom broom broke so now i am a sorry for that this is my text here i am changing the color so now i am a nurse that is what i will do here just keeping it something like this now i always keep telling that make design simple and clean but this is the kind of design you need to make it more elemental or make it like scary so that people can relate with this occasion if just kind of thing that you are making a design for a happy festival or some happy occasions then you need to make that design look happy so the, the same here this is a scary occasion so you must make the design as scary as possible so i am going to use another use kind of lot of elements here so i need to make her look like a nurse so i am going to just taking my eraser tool here to remove this part of her this witch hat here and i am going to replace that with a nurse cap so that is how she will look more like a nurse than a witch okay that is good for me maybe or okay i got i made a mistake here that if i am going to use that one i can just keep that hat upper area that is not a problem because i can simply use my this hat here and then still there will be that with which hat look now you can see this is almost like a nurse but still looking like a witch so i am selecting all of them making using my shape eraser shape here sorry the shape builder or tracing and my just deleting that part so that it looks like a nurse cap here or maybe something like this i can just select this one make a offset path for that maybe this one will work for me now if i just select this 
which image here and then using my transparency tool to represent that hat and the wish theme a bit like in focus if you just look at this image your eyes will focus you focus here so that is what i am making here i am just making her look like a nurse so maybe i can just use my direct selection tool here okay not that one this one is this position is already fixed so i am breaking that font so that i don't they don't come come in my design so i'm just going to make it a bit longer okay maybe not, not that much longer yeah something like this so and here i can just use some elements or like i can i can uh, represent that she is carrying a syringe here something like this okay i got another idea that i can just simply replace this design maybe not like that just let me first make that design so i'm going to using my direct selection tool here to make it longer something like this then i am going to use this one you just have to represent the halloween theme and then use your profession or your target audience profession to adjust with that niche so i am if i just make her riding this series here i think th that will look obviously more funnier than this broom and the people who i am planning to target will kind of relate with this kind of designs so i am going to selecting them these two here using my shape builder so that i can simply delete this parts okay not that i need to do a work some more works here like this part is done but i don't want this longer parts from this room here so i'm going to erasing that something like this now you can see i can just simply okay here i am going to use my lasso selection tool just to make a selection of this area then cut that paste that in front that means in that exact same place and i am going to place it something inside this syringe here and using my eraser tool okay i selected them both but i need to select only this one erasing them just to make it look like a, she is riding a syringe here but for this area here you can see this area is showing like she is holding something inside that syringe but i don't want that i just want to guys this is why <laughs> this is why my design takes a lot of times because i do live designs i don't just bring a design and then copy that i do whatever i want to teach you and that is the reason my design takes a lot of times now you can see this is looking like she is holding this syringe here and there is a broom with that okay maybe i can just place it somewhere like this so that this area of the syringe is visible now before that as i make them offset path i need to group them so something like this will maybe work for me but i need to make some adjustment here okay maybe that is looking better as i need to represent the syringe here now you can see this is this may look like not very professional but trust me this is the way of targeting your audience and if someone is nurse she will must find it funny or something related to their daily life work okay so this is my design for this one here i am just going to replace this areas with some kind of other nurse elements as that will be the main focus here and there is some kind of things like the cats here this bow here 
and uh, kind of pumpkins so i'm going to take some elements like them maybe a pumpkin here something like this one maybe okay guys there will be this is the file i'm taking grouping them and copy pasting it here so that it looks like something maybe this kind of i need to make sure that everything here is in one color so i'm using my shape builder and then erasing this part to make that transparent you see why my <laughs> design takes, till, takes a lot of times just something like this but i want to use this nurse elements here too so that will be represent the represent the nurse profession here so i am going to maybe use something like okay i will do that a bit later i am just planning to make so cover some areas like this one here i can take this one copy and paste it this is just to fill some areas and make my design like scary or something like that so maybe a spider net will look better here as that this is a part of halloween theme maybe something like this will work for me copy that and if i just place it somewhere like this area just in a bigger shape like this one here this m from this m and this e here and then maybe make it a bit lower but i am now going to keep that opacity down so i will work on that later now maybe i am going to bring a cat here as you can see the cat is also the part of halloween and then of course if your targeted audience is a female and she loves cat then this will simply help you to target her very well so maybe this cat here this will look good on that syringe so maybe something like this you can see this is looking perfect here okay maybe that is done for now but as i have placed some halloween elements i am just going to use some nurse element too like this rubber gloves this rubber gloves represent the nurse profession and that is they are really proud of that you will find some designs like heroes some heroes wear capes and my daughter wears rubber scrubs something like this so that will work for representing them pro that profession so i'm just going to keep it something like here like these are just to fill some area and of course give them a feel like they are this is especially made for them like the nurses you can see so maybe here i can just use some okay these are almost I don't want that to be a too much elemental as because then the design will be design will not look that much good on printing after printing so I'm going to okay I'm going to erase these stars from here as I don't need them I'm going to replace another thing by there and that is some bat that represent the scariness of night so maybe something like this one here you can see this, there is a cat in his in her broom so that is the part of halloween niche now this is maybe being a bit tough tutorial for you but trust me this is the way of making eye catching designs people don't like to represent their gentleness in this kind of occasions they want to be scary they want to wear scary and that is what you need to do So we will, I will just make some, make a series of this kind of Halloween tutorials as this is the one of the best selling occasions of t-shirt designs. So, okay, I mean, I may be not use this that one because that will make my design kind of too much elemental. 
so I'm not going to use that one but I am going to use maybe this one here but in a other direction something like this in a bit a smaller size maybe that is because I want to represent the theme here and don't want to keep any unwanted spaces okay that is now all for the niche I am going to break this nurse font here and you can see there is my this is my main design so I am going to make them a group like all of them so that I don't lose their position and then I will make a another make another group here except this one and this text here and that is how my these elements will remain in another group ok now I want to make that effect that she is flying or overlapping the nurse text so maybe something like this but in a bigger size not that much 15 pixel will be ok for me just cut it if I just bring it a bit upper here maybe like this I am just keeping in mind that this two red ruler in my is my main design area so maybe something like there and then paste it I need to make that exactly black so that she looks ok from that nurse text so guys this was just a tutorial to show you ok maybe I can just use this one here this batch here and then take it in a smaller size to fill the area like this is a batch on her shoulder on her hand something like this that I am just going to use my shape builder tool here ok not that I am trying to make her look like a nurse in every possible way and that is the main theme of my this design ok there is some little space here so I can use another element there so what I didn't use maybe something like this will work for me ok I can use that one that scary kind of hands trust me I am not very brave but this is the work I need to do for my designs so ok guys so this is now my design is ready I am going to erase this sorry for that when I make them a group like this one here I selected this ruler so also so they are in this group now I am just erasing them from here ok now I need to add some colors here like the main theme here will be the halloween color is the kind of orange the pumpkin color so i am going to use that one for here like the my broom broke here will be in kind of this or maybe kind of this color and then this nurse will be something like similar but in a lighter color so that it don't look same now this nurse here i just want her to ok I need to expand that if there is any color remaining I need to make that something like this color and I have to check here that if I lost any details no then those are ok so I am going to use this scary elements and then not that one use them kind of darker color for them ok not that was not the color so I am going to select them this parts here then ungrouping them so that I can select them easily now then maybe something like this color this is the rubber gloves that should be like kind of yellow ok I am not going to use too much color as that will not look good on printing so I am going to keep it like two color so maybe this one also in kind of this color but these elements here those are far from this color 
I need to I want to make that in this kind of color this one I want to make this color okay and this is the nurse one so maybe this color okay color doesn't matter here because as they are all in kind of Halloween looking niche or just I can make them something kind of on color design not that one maybe this one or this one okay maybe this one now the main focus point here is this kind of design people wear on only black as this is the scary theme so I am going to make a black background for them and then I will take a look how they are looking cut and paste in back this is my design now now you can see there is this one is looking better than this one as this one got some like three colors and that is making something like this colors looking like a bit dull and these are brighter so I am just going to select them all make them a single color and that is this color so this will be two variation of my this design I could have chosen any color from here but the one color design is always good as that will look exactly same when it will be printed on a t-shirt so your buyer will get exactly what they are looking for or what they washed on a store so guys this was a long tutorial but th this is the way of making t-shirt designs targeting a niche and maybe you can just compare this one here you see this is a design I took inspiration and now this is now what I made from this this one is looking really good but I didn't like the design as there is not much things to represent the nurse only this heartbeat here so I tried to make it better and something very related to nurse profession so that is what I did here I hope this will give you an idea of how to make designs so with targeting your niche on Halloween topic and this is the best selling designs like this is the best selling occasion you will get a lot of sales if you can just target the right people and how to target people just make a Facebook page or make an Instagram account a Pinterest account then add only those people who are liking or commenting on Halloween niche or Halloween designs you will get a easy this is the easiest way of targeting any people you targeting like you can create an Instagram account and then follow the nurses and search like nurse and who are liking the images related to nurse just start following them and they will some of them will follow you back and that is how you will make a nurse related group or nurse related audience there and that is how you can that is how you will get some audience so guys this is already a, the longest video maybe so watch this and practice i will give this files desk link in the description no not in the description in my facebook group so if you need that just join there i will give this link on the doc file i made so see you in the next video have a great time thank you